Last year, if you may recall, I did a video in which I said this. Rose was kind of annoying. And the enormous amount of backlash has caused me to recant my opinion, and no, that would just be silly. I still believe that. Now, as you may know, there are people who love Rose and people who hate Rose, and I just wanted to take this time to explain to you my dislike for the character. Now, I don't dislike Rose for a lot of the reasons that people dislike Rose. Oh, her accent is too cockney. Oh, her teeth are too big. I actually think Billy Piper is rather cute. But that's what they are. Judgments on Billy Piper. Piper. I'm talking about the companion character. I hate Rose because of the way that she was written and rewritten and rewritten and brought back and let me just start from the beginning. <sighs> Rose is annoying and completely overrated when it comes to Doctor Who companions. There, I said it. First off, Rose is a terrible person. Doctor shows up, whisks her away, normal, just like almost any other companion, but she kind of treats Mickey like dirt. The whole first episode, she's afraid that he's dead, and when she finds out that he's alive, she does that whole, thanks, for what, exactly, and boom, just leaves him there. Not like he was a completely devoted boyfriend or anything, going to space, BRB. And then she has the audacity to get jealous with the doctor's tree lady friend. He offered you time and space, nothing more. He's not on your leash. And then when she gets back to Earth, she doesn't tell her mother anything about where she's been for the past, what turns out to be an entire year. Nope, just doesn't tell her anything. That must have been crazy emotional stress on her own mother. She trusts Mickey with the information on where she's been for the past year, but when she gets back, he's still completely heartbroken and she doesn't even say sorry or thanks or anything. Treated Mickey like a poor little puppy. Ah, get away, get away. And when anyone, most notably the doctor, insulted Mickey, she never defended him at all. She was told not to mess with the fixed points in time, but she tried to save her dad. Stupid, stupid. She went from a spunky, see the universe kind of girl, to a helper of the doctor, to the most important girl in the universe, to the doctor's one true love? Huh? The doctor would literally spell things out for her. She would react and he would congratulate her like she was the most intelligent person in the entire universe. The show was forcing it down our eye holes that Rose was this incredibly fantastical person who was going around doing so much good without anything to back it up. And we were just supposed to accept it because the doctor said so. Unlike Martha and Donna, she can't say that she single-handedly saved the planet. And when she carelessly awakens that Dalek, it just goes on a killing spree, murders almost everybody in that entire facility, and she doesn't even really show any remorse. Not to mention, you know, causing a genocide when she looks inside of the TARDIS and does her whole laser cat eyes thing. After the doctor abandoned Sarah Jane and Jack, they didn't just go moping for the rest of their life. They took what the doctor had taught them and they used it to help people over and over and over again. Mickey stayed in the parallel world to help rebuild and he didn't worship or cry over the doctor at all. And without Rose, he was able to make better decisions without seeing his life through rose-colored glasses. See what I did there? I just always felt like Rose was way too dependent on the doctor. That's why my favorite Rose episode is the Stolen Earth because she was finally able to hold her own. A lot of people complained about the Amy Pond. When I was a little girl, I had an imaginary friend intro and it, they were talking about how it was like Amy Pond and her companion, the doctor. But to me, it was worse having Rose all throughout season one, all throughout season two, and then when she left, she didn't stay gone. There were Rose reminders in nearly every episode of season three, and then in season four, she came back, only to be put back in her alternate world. And then she was even mentioned in The Lodger in season five, and Let's Kill Hitler, and The Wedding of River Song in season six. Why won't you stay gone? Yes, I know, she's coming back for the 50th anniversary. I'm not in the mood to talk about it. Look, I'm fine with some of the episodes focusing on companions. I'm even in the minority of the people who still love learning stuff about River Song. But she essentially became something that our doctor and the human doctor revolved around. And that just doesn't sit right with me. And I know that Rose has some good qualities. She taught the doctor about love and friendship and family and stuff after that whole destruction of Gallifrey mishap that happened. But her increasingly adolescent relationship with the doctor was just really, really starting to irk me. Were we really supposed to believe that she was the doctor's one true love? But I don't know, my opinion is my own opinion and your opinion could be completely different. Whatever your opinion is of Rose Tyler, leave it in the comments section down below. I think I'll talk about my beef with Martha next.